Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome back to some more Galactic Civilizations 4. I'm still playing on the pre-release beta build here, um, doing some pre-recording before the actual release date, and this is our little warm-up campaign. The default settings with the humans. Maybe not terribly exciting, but hopefully you can learn some things out of this. Unfortunately, right now, we're still limited to just the one core world. But here's the thing, again, compared to previous Galsivs, there'd be a lot more sort of planetary management already, which in the early game would be kind of nice, but in late game becomes kind of tedious. And here they, they sort of flip things, right? All of our trade is being focused, uh, or all of our production is being focused on Earth right now from all these colonies, um, which gives us one centralized point, uh, which is going to be great later on. But here, lamenting a little bit the fact that we haven't uh, colonized everything, anything exciting for core worlds but there are two good core worlds over here that i'd like to grab but we need extreme colonization and oceanic worlds and also it might cause a little bit of tension with the drangi we will see we're going to research diplomacy here we're going to see if we can get some non-aggression packs going on and if so we're going to go and hard aim for the um, the colonization tech over here if we can be at peace with the drangi who currently are in war with the torians so that is going to keep them a little busier and just making me feel a lot happier overall Recruitment drive. Rush of excitement in our space program has spurred a lot of new candidates for critical positions, which take advantage of the situation while it lasts. 20% leader cost. Well, as much as I keep saying these leaders aren't terribly exciting. <sighs> Double experience assigned as a commander. Doesn't forgive either. Increase individualism. Um, yeah, you're, hmm. Okay. We're going to hire these two. And we're going to set this guy, even though he's only a five, as a Minister of Technology. Actually, yeah, I was going to put you as a commander, but I guess temporarily what we're going to do... I guess it doesn't matter who's who. You're going to do this, and you're going to do that. So we'll get the approval boost. Oh, it's just approval boost? It's not growth or anything? Hmm. Plus one movement, ten ship range. I don't think our ship range is a problem. The movement might be nice. I don't know. The approval is probably okay. Secretly maintains a list of names. Several already crossed off. Amazing. Extensive criminal record was erased by government contact. Um, and then if a war breaks out, we can put Vicky, certainly, in charge of a ship over here. I wonder if you just passively get experience just for fighting. I'll we'll see these factions over here. We can do things. But anyway, by having this guy here, we get the extra tech slot and then the 5% research boost. It'd be great if you had more intelligence, but... So, because we get a bigger text boost. But the big thing is, by having anyone here, we get the extra text slot. And that'll increase the chance that we will be able to research texts we are particularly interested in. Okay, we are starting a colony ship here, which probably we'll just send to the other Aegeus system. But we could park two here. Well, especially if we can start researching the colonization tech. We want to park one there as soon as we can. Did spend all our money, but I... I think it was worth getting those guys a little cheaper. They're not, and they're not seeming to me like to be god tier people. Although the commander is going to be nice. It's going to be nice to have that. Okay, colony ship. Everyone's pretty happy right now. I'm actually thinking we're going to load some scientists, especially this one's only three intelligence. So you're not really a god tier scientist. And we we do more base production on Earth, so the production from the manufacturing from these guys is going to be a little bit more. I think that's going to be okay. So he needs oceanic, needs extreme. Yeah, so it's all the same. If I hit this, oh, you'll go over there, which actually I like because it'll push our borders out maybe a little bit. We might want some communication star bases over here to push our influence. Lost cargo, a little bit more durantium. That's going to be nice on our server ships when time comes. There's our trade fleet going to Drengi. I suppose we know where the, uh, the Yor are. Um, we can send them a trade ship as well. Mutual trade continues strengthen relations. Nice. And diplomacy and extreme colonization. Okie dokie. Uh, colony ship. You're actually going to come over here instead because we'll be researching that as soon as we can. Um, let's deal with the event and then do some diplomacy. Baratak Guardians. Oh, I've seen this. A ship drifts aimlessly among the wreckage here. Seemingly dead, our away team is surprised to find the hull still retains an atmosphere. They're even more surprised by what they see next. Every corridor and chamber is overgrown with plant life. Nearly every surface is covered in leaves, vines, and branches. Many of the surfaces are organic itself. In fact, the interior of the ship itself seems to be more wood than metal. 
At its heart, sentient plants tend to everything. These are the Baratak. They are stern, but not unfriendly, and they inform us that prior to their ship being disabled, they were seeking a world to settle on, one with a grove they contend. What should we do? We could build them a grove on our world, or give them the directions to an uncolonized world. Plus one diplomacy bonus. If this is a permanent plus one diplomacy bonus, that's actually pretty decent. And that's what I think it might be. Or... We could build this. Now, I did see this last time I hit this button. There's a particular resource that we need to be able to build the grove in our world, and we don't have that resource. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this button. Now, skill and diplomacy. So presumably our skill and diplomacy maybe went up a little bit. I don't know. We would like... Oh, we need a relationship with four or better for this. Oh... I mean, it is growing. Still like this oceanic. Maybe we can do it. Okay, let's send you a couple of techs. You know what? You might need rail guns to survive. I'm going to offer you some antimatter. Are you... That's not really doing much for you. I would really... Oh, I had subsidy scanning in there too. Whoops. Okay, hold on. No, I can still offer you that. Oh, you need more. That's not quite enough, but... Uh... Okay. I don't know if there's a faster way to cancel that. Um... Star bases. Now, you can boost it on your side. Okay. Accept. Keep going for the button over there. So now we can actually colonize both those spots. Now, annoyingly, I don't have enough money to rush a colony ship. But, oh, it's only going to be four turns after this, which isn't bad. We'll do the asteroid miner. That's fine. Colony ship. And then I'll almost certainly want a constructor for that area so we can build an economic starbase that covers both planets. Now, it's probably worth having two core worlds. Although, again, it's the base production. We could just colonize one of these... See, Miriam's got the penalty to pollute population cap. It's got the pollution, but it has a technopod hive we could build. But we could just colonize Miriam, like make this a core world, and then uh, have Miriam 2 be a colony that just feeds Miriam. Which might turn out to be better. I don't know. Boom, do that. Oh, yeah, and we'll have to uh, get some asteroid stuff over here, too. But that can wait a little bit. So we have the Oceanic Tech now, which has a Snuggler colony on it. All right. So yeah, you're going to go there. And then our next one... Oh, that just went from five turns to seven. We just lost research rate for some reason? I'm not wrong about that, am I? Maybe I misread the number. Maybe it went from eight to seven. Maybe I just misread the font. Could be. Or maybe we lost a temporary modifier. We have a little control at 15. Oh. Mutual trade continues strengthening relationships. Good. Yeah, I'm going to have to send one to the Yor, actually. Sooner the better. Boost some relations over there. And then see if that can uh, lead to more beneficial trades. Lost and found. Oh, Harmony Crystals. Oh, we can use those to bribe leaders. We have leaders currently with lower... Loyalty. There's also a long cooldown to it. You're going to be fine. I'm going to save the Harmony Crystal. Okay, Earth is idle. Oh, yeah, these modifiers are working out pretty well. Yeah, we got brainstorming, which is helping that out. And good approval. Well, decent approval, yeah. Da -da 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 -da. What are we going to build? Well, I mean, I built the capital mainframe here, so it sort of feels like what I should probably do is surround this area with research. Yeah, actually... Let's make sure that one gets done first, because the adjacencies will work out better. Okay, yeah, get a bunch more research going on over here. That's going to be fine. And then, actually, we might start to slam a ton more manufacturing in here, mostly so the star base go faster. You are going to give me artificial gravity. Plus one moves, plus one logistics. It's a six-turn tech. Diplomacy, which costs three and two and similar. That sounds great to me, actually. I'm totally okay with this. Thanks, buddy. You know what? I'm sorry that I thought we were going to have a bad relationship. 
the Yor. As long as you're far away from me, apparently things are going to work out great. Uh, colony ship. Done. You have an upgrade rating. Um, see, I really want these. Like so much Durantium. Some hit points would be good. You see, it's like they're both 20, but this has also got the base plus four, which is just worth so much. We could just give you movement and stuff too, but... I'm thinking I'm going to start stacking some hit points on these. All right, colony ship. Uh, make your way over here. We'll be able to colonize that by the time you get there. And Miram 1 is colonized. Ooh, see, I don't have any money. See? You want money. Damn. Terrain of Mirren 1 has proven very challenging for the conventional ground vehicles, and some colonists have begun capturing and taming a local species of marsupial to use for hopping around between buildings and colonies. Oh my god, that's great! The animals seem well suited for the work and don't seem to be suffering, but there have been a few incidents and animal rights activists across the galaxy are demanding the practice be banned. What are your orders? This is shockingly primitive, and the practice at once. Compassion goes up. We get a temporary approval boost. Launch campaign, convince your citizens beasts are well treated. This would have been great. Permanent 10% manufacturing? Or not suffering, then they aren't working hard enough. Creativity goes up. We get a temporary approval loss. All oh, the 25 turns is a long time. But a permanent boost to manufacturing? <clears throat> I, I, sorry, my finger slipped. Oh, I didn't mean to hit the, the be mean button. Oh. Okay, so we can assign a governor here. I could yoink one of the others away. This is not a sciencey planet. It's a pretty good manufacturing planet. And you over here was gonna, you were gonna tank manufacturing. So we don't want you there. We don't want you there. You're bad for tourism. You're also kind of expensive. Okay, you have the most social. And I suppose I could gift you for your loyalty, which is gonna be important. Tourism boost, growth boost, decent social value. All right, I'm gonna hire Pat, give him a gift. The problem is, I think he'll get a minus 20 modifier over here. And you've already got foreign influence. Can I move DL Bradley there? Okay, you've got a lot of society. You know what? Okay. I'm going to make you the governor here because you're super loyal. See this? See they get the minus 20 have to manage things? And then I'll make you the Minister of Colonization right now for a little bit more. I do want to assign you as a governor, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to send you more crystals. For now, you'll just sit there and that's gonna have to be okay. Alright, so we got a core world over here. We do have a snuggler colony we can build. Give me a ton of influence and snuggler points. Um yeah. Okay, well first we're gonna place the core world capital. There's a lot of research tiles over here, but our base research is so crap that I'm not sure that that's helpful. I know, I'm going to put the core world here. And then I think I would very much like to get this built because we're going to want the influence pressure. We'll also want a shipyard. And that actually will give us a scan planet thing as well. Maybe I'll throw it in the queue after. I don't know. We probably want to get some basic production or something. We'll see. Food's okay. Yeah, I'm going to start with this right away. We might be able to buy it to accelerate it. Constructor, right, because we've got another colony ship. This constructor is definitely going to go to that area. Um, I'd like an economic starbase because it'll boost both these things. Although we might need some cultural starbases over here to push back. Hopefully it doesn't flip too quickly. Would have been nice to do the other one first because it would have been slightly outside of the range. And would have let us set up some influence first, but I don't know. Uh, intelligence 6, Intelligence 3. You're not a great scientist. We'll go ahead and do this. Mutual trade is good. Nice. Extreme colonization is done. Good. Espionage. Small holes. Xeno Research is the upgraded research labs are pretty good. Defensive studies, if we're going to think we're going to fight. I don't think I need the Xeno Entertainment. So both of these are good for combat. Xeno Research, upgrade the labs. I'm not sure how much of a difference it makes. It does give us a new policy that might be interesting, though. Starbase Laboratories as well. I suppose it's risk, 
but I'm going to take the more science right now. The risk is that we get killed before the science, pay, science pays off. But the Dengrin are kind of busy. And we're kind of maintaining some relations. Yeah, you need hit points, man. So we lost cargo. Oh, we got some Drantium. Nice. We're up to two. Some Helios ore. All right. Go, go, colony ship. Okay, bit of a border expansion. Hopefully a little less pressure over here. Colony is 24% in rebellion. I don't know if there's anything I can just do about that. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to drop our taxes a little. Um, crime research grants. Okay, 20% more research. This would be slightly better than brainstorming, actually. Although it lowers our gross income, so maybe not. That's influence just at our home world. I don't want to drop influence. So I wonder if the hit points are being modified by the fast exploration number, like the live hit points we're seeing. Probably. So actually, our ships probably have more hit points than we, we perceive. So happy about the movement boost. Yes, we're going to colonize that. Oh, powerful drug. The flowers of a specific plant on Miriam 2 are powerful and toxic. The drug provides an intense feeling of contentment to all those who consume it, although in a few cases, people have been content to walk directly into powerful machinery. What are your orders? Put railings and let the people use the drug recreationally. Liberty goes up. Approval goes up. Make the drug illegal, but begin research efforts to find market uses for it. Opportunity goes up. We increase crime and income. Content workers are hard workers. Give them more of the drug. Creativity goes up. Manufacturing approval, a penalty to growth. I think we'll just put up railings. Liberty. All right, mutual trade. Good. And I, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave Miriam as a colony right now. So it's going to boost the production and other stats to Miriam too. Sorry, they're both Miriam. Um, so this is going to be able to produce faster. It's going to finish the snuggler shelter faster, which is going to be good. And then we will see. Approval wealth. So actually, we could get a big approval boost with an entertainment district over here. Seems like high approval is going to be a good idea. It's not the same as influence. You can build cultural districts. I don't know if there's any... I don't think there's any influence squares, but we could put it around the core world and just get some influence pressure out, which might not be a terrible idea. We can always replace these later. But yeah, we might do a big early cultural push. Because we're going to get... Uh, our base culture is currently uh, three. Because it's getting two from Miriam one. From It's getting some... Or no, sorry. This is Miriam one. It's getting two from itself. Another one from its neighbor. It's going to get two more from this. And we're going to get some multipliers. Push out the borders. At least to try to secure things. And then we shall see. So this is not going to contribute a lot in some of the more typical ways. Although it is increasing our science, right? One point fight science isn't bad. Idle shipyard over here. Um, We are kind of low on population. So I, we might have to take a beat from... Because we only have three extra colonists over here. And we're going to need that for uh, colony ships and constructors. We could drop pollution that could increase our colonization rate. I don't know. We'll see. Research districts. I'll go ahead and hit the scan the button, planet button, so that's ready to go. Um, I'm curious. Can we... We could mine this. Oh, um, freighter. Although, did we just build a freighter? Hold on. Yes. Freighter we're going to send over here. Now, I don't have any evidence that there's another core world for anyone, right? Outside of their capital. They might have one somewhere. If we find it, we'll build another colony, a trader ship there because we can have up to four right now. But we only know three worlds we can trade with. So we're not going to do that. I could build some extra scouts. I could also just build military ships to use as scouts. I don't know. I guess I'll build one asteroid miner because clearly we can have that. Probably these are super strong. 
Oh, you know what I could do is I could build a couple of supply ships to pump the manufacturing at our new world. In fact, I'm going to do that first. I'm going to send two supply ships for the new world. They're quite expensive. But it's a good way to use Earth's idle production. Oh, they just colonized over there. Purple ships. Oh, that's your ships. Right, I forgot. Or the your. They're your ships, you guys. Oh no, my game crashed! Hopefully we've got an autosave. Uh, I guess we'll just cut this episode short here and reload where we can. Sorry about that. Again, we're on a beta build.